hello guys uh, in this video i'm going to talk about the time domain specification for any computer system so here is the response for an undamped system for a unit steps input so so first time domain specification is the td okay so this is denoted as td which is called delay time so we'll see the definition of td another is rise time tr peak time tp settling time ts and maximum peak over to time p okay suppose fine uh, okay in this system for a unit step input uh, the final value of, of the response is 1 c of infinity is equal to 1 and uh, the peak value of the response is c of tp so, okay so based on all this value we'll uh, define the all this specification so so what is delay time so delay time definition is it is the time required for the response to rise from 0 to 50 percent for of the final value okay 0 to 50 percent of the final value so its formula is td is equal to 1 plus 0.7 zeta by omega n so in this diagram how we will define the td so it is the time required for the response to go from 0 to 50 percent of the final value final value is 1 so once 50 percent is 0.5 so time required for the response to go from 0 to 0.5 so the time is like td okay from the diagram it is clear okay and formula you, you have to remember 1 plus 0.7 zeta by omega n so another specification is rise time so it is time required for the response to rise from okay so for different system the definition is slightly different like for uh, undamped system undamped means oh, sorry for under damped system means the damping ratio zeta so value will be g between the 0 and 1 so for that system whose damping ratio is between the 0 and 1 so rise time is defined as the response to rise from 0 to 100 percent of the final value okay and uh, for critical damp system whose zeta will be 1 the uh, rise time is the time required to res response to rise from 5 to 50 percent 5 to 95 percent of the final value okay and for the overdamp system overdamp is zeta greater than 1 rise time is the risk required to ri rise the response from 10 to 90 percent okay so formula is tr is equal to pi minus cos omega zeta by omega d where omega d here omega n was natural uh, undamped okay undamped uh, frequency undamped oscillation frequency or natural damping frequency and this is uh, this this was undamped frequency and this is damping uh, frequency of oscillation okay so from the diagram we can see that rise time this is a under damp system so for this rise time will be uh, time required to rise the response from 0 to 100 percent of the final value because okay, this is the rise time because it is the under damp system for over damp system uh, for critical damp system the, the response uh, to, to rise from uh, 5 to 95 percent okay here you can see that 5 to 95 percent okay and for over damp system zeta greater than 1 response to rise from 10 to 90 percent okay so basically you have to uh, remember this formula from that you can find uh, rise time for any system so tr is equal to pi minus cos omega zeta by omega d okay and uh, another specification is peak time so what is peak time peak time it is the time required for the response to rise from zero to peaks of the time response okay zero to peak of the time response so tp's formula is equal to n pi by omega d where n is equal to 1 by default first week 
first pick okay so if you put uh, n's different value the different pick will come for n equal to 1 this pick uh, time will you will get and for n equal to 2 this pick corresponding to this pick and like this so peak time is equal to n pi by omega d so it is defined as the time required to rise the response from 0 to peak value okay okay then uh, another specification is uh, peak over suit mp okay so it is difference between difference between the peak to steady state value so c of tp minus c of infinity is equal to maximum peak over suit or p core suit okay so c of tp this is c of tp minus c of infinity so this is the this is the maximum p core suit okay so uh, this is maximum p core suit but what is the percentage p core suit so it is the normalized difference between the peak to steady state value so normalized okay normalized with respect to infinite uh, value final value okay so my percentage p core suit is equal to c of tp minus c of infinity by c of infinity into 100 percent okay this. so as the input amplitude is changes the overshoot changes but the percentage p core suit remains same so this is the more important uh, specification than this uh, value because the, if the, you change the input the maximum peak over suit will also change but the percentage peak over suit will remain same okay so it it will be clear from the example if input amplitude is double the over suit is also doubled but percentage peak over suit is same okay it will be same from derivation you will get that so formula is for percentage p over suit is equal to minus 1 to power n minus 1 e to power minus n pi zeta by under root 1 minus zeta square into 100 percent so for n equal to 1 you will get first week for n equal to 2 you will get second first valley and for n equal to 3 you will get second peak okay okay so another specification is settling time it is the time required for the response to rise from 0 to specified tolerance band usually plus minus 2 percent or plus minus 5 percent okay so if you want to get a uh, final value as same as the what you uh, applied as input so the time required will be infinity okay so but like Ta uh, 4 tau settling time is equal to 4 tau the tolerance band will be plus minus 2 percent if you wait for the 4 tau time you will get uh, steady state error is plus minus 2 percent okay tolerance band will be plus minus 2 percent if settling time is 3 tau the tolerance band will be more because the time is less so tolerance band will be more plus minus 5 percent and what is tau tau is time constant which is 1 by zeta omega n so 4 tau is 4 by zeta omega n so if you want zero steady state error zero sorry zero percent tolerance band is same so it will be 5 tau so 5 by zeta omega n so uh, okay uh, another thing that uh, i want to uh, specify that t oscillation okay so you as you see in the diagram the there is oscillation so for that oscillation you will get a time period also okay so t oscillation so t oscillation is is equal to 2 pi by omega d and 1 by omega d okay so 2 pi by omega d and pi by omega d is a tp peak time so 2 tp okay so how many cycles you will get before steady state error you can find n is equal to ts by t oscillation and ts can be any value like 4 tau or 3 tau depending on the tolerance band you want so if you want plus minus 2 percent you will you have to take 4 tau otherwise for 5 percent you have to take 3 tau okay so ts by t oscillation 
Oh, you know that up to TS you will get some oscillation after TS the steady state value you will get so till that TS only you will get some oscillation so total number of cycles divided by to uh, time required for the total number of cycle divided by time required for one cycle you will get the total number of cycle okay okay then if you have any doubt please uh, let me know thank you